Good day! Now, we're going to discuss about solution and concentration of solution. Our topic for today is about solutions. As you can remember, a solution has two components. When one substance dissolves into another, a solution is formed. A solution is a homogeneous mixture consisting of a solute dissolved into a solvent. The solute is a substance that is being dissolved, while the solvent is a dissolving medium. We have here an orange juice. Water is the solvent and the orange powder that contains sugar, ascorbic acid, and more is the solute. Here are other kinds of solution. We have liquid to solid, which can be sugar and water or the orange juice a while ago, liquid to liquid, which can be ethyl alcohol and water, and liquid and gas, which can be carbon dioxide and water. As you identify the components of a solution, you are also dealing with solubility. So what is solubility? It is the ability of the solute to be dissolved in a solvent, or amount of a given substance that can be dissolved in a certain amount of the solvent. So when there is less amount of solute dissolved in a given amount of solvent, the solution is said to be unsaturated. While when there is a maximum amount of solute in a given amount of solvent, then the solution is saturated and supersaturated when it becomes unstable in forms crystal. Now, the question is, how do we know the accurate amount of solute in a solvent? Let's go find out together. You prepared a cup of coffee and then you put too much coffee powder and too much sugar. What do you think will happen to the color, smell, and taste of the coffee? Of course, the color will be too dark, the smell will be too strong, and the taste will be too sweet or bitter since you put too much coffee and sugar. The intensity of color, strength of the smell, degree of sweetness all depend on the concentration of the solution. As you identify the components of a solution, you are also dealing with solubility. So what? A concentrated solution contains a large amount of solute per liter of solution. Example, strong coffee. While well, dilute solution contains a small amount of solute per liter of solution. Example, weak coffee. However, dilute and concentrated are only relative or qualitative terms. A more accurate way of expressing the amount of solute in a given amount of solvent is in terms of percentage. Now, the question is, how do we know the accurate amount of solute in a solvent? Let's go find out together. Labels of products we use at home shows concentration of solution expressed as percent by mass or volume. Example, vinegar is labeled 5% acidity which means that it contains 5 grams of acidic acid and 95 grams of water to make 100 grams of vinegar. That's it! I hope you learned a lot from today's session. Thank you so much for tuning in.